Kowski and this is Lisa Brandt and we are in the Hy-Vee Hy and Sycamore. Correct. And one of the questions I get or comments people make is how do I make food so it's not boring? And the, the probably the first thing is just add some spice which is normally forgetting just the health benefits but little to no calories. Right. And Very if, you're, if no. you're a bachelor or new to cooking, your parents have always cooked for you or what have you. Lisa and I each picked three mm -hmm. we're going to talk about today, and, th and these are probably six spices that if you don't have, put them on the grocery list, get the next time you're at the store. Yeah, because they're very good ones. What'd you get? So I picked, I only picked three, <laughs> I didn't cheat, and I start, I got garlic powder, I have turmeric, and I have cinnamon. So there's all these new studies on cinnamon and um, its relationship with blood glucose levels and diabetes, so the perfect places to use cinnamon are, I see people put it in their coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker, but that's a great place to use it. Or you can use it with oatmeal. You can sprinkle it on um, any of your breakfast cereals. Or you could put some in a smoothie. You could put it in your protein drink. So you can do a lot with cinnamon. So I think that's a great choice but and not one that we always think Remember, about. you don't want the cute little bottle of the cinnamon guy because usually that's cinnamon, sugar and sugar. cinnamon. Yeah, yeah. You want pure ground right, cinnamon. Right, just plain old cinnamon. And then turmeric that. is very anti-inflammatory and there's a lot of research on uh, turmeric right now. So that's another good choice. And what I like to do is, garlic also has some anti-inflammatory properties. And so I like to combine the garlic and the turmeric, and then I use some black pepper, equal parts of those, three equal parts, and I put it in a shaker, and then I put that on uh, vegetables I'm gonna roast in the oven, or I put it on a piece of salmon or a piece of tilapia. So it's real tasty, and it's a good way to get some of that turmeric. If you're, if you're new to turmeric and you're not sure about it, it's often found in curry and, and uh, Indian mustard. food. It's found in mustard, so I love mustard. I always use mustard at home. That's my condiment of and choice. It, mustard's calorie-free. Yes. It's got some vinegar in it, yes. so theoretically made digestion. Yeah. And then it's got turmeric. Now, got turmeric. some people, myself included, like I don't like curry and I don't like the taste of turmeric. So it takes a lot of effort for me to kind of mask that flavor, but you can get that encapsulated too. You can. But I will tell you, when you put it with the garlic and pepper, and you could even use some like ginger, you could combine all four, um, you don't notice it as much. You can it does get things this beautiful yellow color. It looks beautiful on cauliflower. But if, it, if you put other things with it, it kind of masks it. You can hide the flavor bit. a little bit. If it, okay. if it bothers you. Yeah. So check out garlic powder, turmeric, and pure ground cinnamon. Yes. Remember, you want the pure ground cinnamon, not this stuff. With the and the sugar. cute little person with the sugar. <laughs> um, I grab salt, uh, the Himalayan pink sea pink. salt. And I. I suppose we could probably make a case as to why that's better than regular table salt. Um, I, well, just the big granules, it's kind of nice to work with that. It gives, brings out some more flavor, and, a little bit more minerals. So and it gives you some, and if it's, if it's one where you actually are going to have to grind crank it. and yeah. grind the bottle. When I look at kids and stuff, our kids like the pink salt, not that we give them a lot, but it's, it's just the fact that they're involved with the meal. Right. And I think that it gives them a job. It gives them a job and also gives them a, a reason or incentive to maybe choose a healthier food option right. instead of something that's processed. I picked oregano simply because there's, whether it's Italian or Greek, there's so much you can do with oregano mm -hmm. that if we're looking at somebody that may not have any spices, you don't need to go out and buy a ton of them. There's just a couple. Oregano is very versatile. And I'm kind of biased for anything with lime I and, like and lime. cilantro. Yep. and garlic and all three of them are in this product and a lot of times people you know that you can walk the grocery store and you can look for stuff like this they've already done the combination for you right. and a lot of times right on the label or even on the company's website they're going to give you ideas of where you can use it right so you know right here guacamole salsas chicken pork beef fish seafood so pretty much looking at the label, this goes on anything. Yeah. Well, and same with that Himalayan salt. That's really good on a piece of fish, like a piece of grilled fish. It tastes really good on there. So very so I versatile. I agree with that. And this, this cinnamon is from Frontier. And Frontier has a wonderful website that has different rubs on it, you know, ideas for rubs, uh, recipes. So really good information and we on use, the website. we've used that some we, of yeah. our cooking events. When we've done the class with rubs for grilling, we, I got them from Frontier's website. And that was so the, really good. And it was popular with pretty much everybody right. that attended. And a lot of folks actually went and bought spices that day here at the Hy-Vee and, and took them home. So there's a lot of good choices out there. 
And they add a lot of uh, flavor to food, and there's no sodium in them. So someone with like some heart disease or something like that, that's a really great. Choice. And you can ma you can manage. You're not stuck right. with that bland, tasteless food. Right. And you can pick and choose. And again, none of these are going. This probably does have sodium, but these ones aren't. No, gonna it doesn't. I looked at it. That There's zero. Zero sodium chloride. Okay. Because it's, it's just garlic, cilantro, and lime. So if you have somebody that's on a restricted diet and the rest of the family's not, you can add your salt without creating an issue for them and they're not stuck with the plain chicken right. breast. And or I get a lot be. of people who are on low sodium diets and like, what seasoning can I use? That's a great one. That would be a good example. Yep. And it, it will fit with what the doctors are telling them. So right. this, this kind of gives an idea of, of easy ways. You don't need to buy a ton. Even if you bought these three or those three are mix and match, if you had two or three different options at home, it's gonna make having a healthier food option that maybe promotes some weight loss as well, easier without more of the same old same old. And what I would suggest to people, if it's a spice you've never tried before, or say you're trying out a new recipe, we have bulk spices, so you can just buy a little bit and then try it and see if you like it, if you like that recipe, and then you can go and buy it in a bigger container later. And that's that's a, a really easy way to do I mean, you can get things for just a few cents, really. And then you're not stuck with a spice Yeah, you're not you're, stuck with a stuff. You uh, won't use again. Spice you won't, yeah. And also, Correct. like, we didn't pick exotic spices that you're only gonna use a few times a year. And, and that being said, years ago when I was struggling to lose weight, I bought this fat loss cookbook and I was really excited, brought it home, opened it up, and it was full of stuff that I didn't have in my kitchen. Nor would I even know where to find in the grocery store. So keep it simple and if you, you are going to make something that requires a spice, you may use once a year, hit the bulk area, right. buy just enough and then you're not stuck with a bottle that you're or if you're not sure you're gonna like the turmeric or or something you can always buy a small amount and try it out and see if you like it cool yeah well thanks for checking us out today you can find out more at eatbycolor.com at hashtag eatbycolor and watch social media for our next cooking event yeah have a great day bye